Welcome to part 11 of building this invoice management system. It's about time we take care of the look and feel of this application. Currently it is looking boring, okay, because we don't add any styling to it. So to do that, we'll have to add static files. In Django, the CSS, the images, and these video files that you have on your side are called static files. Before we are able to style the application, we should add the static files to our Django application. By the end of this tutorial, we should be able to have our application changing its background from this white background to this. Okay, we're gonna give it a blue background. And as usual, we have all the codes on our blog site at appcoms.com. Okay, now, um. We also have a Patreon page where we bundle all this source code of every single app that we are teaching on YouTube and put it on Patreon. So now if you become a Patreon member, you're gonna have the entire codes on Patreon, okay? So whether you become a member or not, you will have all the codes on appcoms.com. So for every video, we have them numbered. So all the videos are numbered, like we are in video number 11 of the inventory management system. So I normally have question, where do I find this code? Where do I get it on your blog site? So from every single video, I numbered them and they are also part of a particular series. Like this one is part of the invoice management system. So on the homepage of appcoms.com, if you go in there, you'll see the series. And if you click it, you'll see all the videos numbering between number one sometimes all the way up to number 30 and so on so now let's take care of this static file changing the background color from white to blue we have all the codes right here so i'll take you step by step how to accomplish this okay now the first step is to create a static folder within your django app and in this app this application that we're building we call the app Invoice MGMT. So if I switch over to Sublime, we have our app right here, the Invoice MGMT. So I'm gonna right click it and then select new folder. Now we're gonna give it a name, static. All right, now that we have the static folder created, inside the static folder is where we're gonna create the JavaScript files, the CSS files, and the images and so on. So I'm gonna create three different folders. The first folder will be called CSS, CSS. Okay, I'm gonna create another one called JS. And then we can create another one called IMG. All right, so the CSS folder will hold our style sheets the images or the IMG folder is where we're gonna put all the images of our application, right? Like our logos and, and the like. Okay, so the CSS or the JS folder is where we're gonna create all our JavaScript files. So these are all considered static files in Django framework. So today we're gonna focus on creating a style sheet and we're gonna put that file, the CSS file in the CSS folder. Okay, so I'm gonna right click the CSS folder and then create a new file in it. So in this file, I'm gonna create, I'm gonna save this as stylesheet.css. And press enter. So like the name suggests, this is where we're gonna write all our CSS codes, okay? So in this example, we're gonna set the background color of our application to a different color other than this white background that we have okay so i have the code on the side but um, i'm gonna give it a, a body okay so we're gonna give it a body color i'm gonna say background color i'm gonna give it maybe blue save it all right so after having this code or the css right here the css code we're not yet ready. We have to set up Django to look into this folder to find the style sheets and then load them on the browser. All right, so that's what we're gonna do next in step number five. 
okay so I'm gonna skip step number four for a while and then um, yeah step number four and five is almost the same so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this okay so what I'm gonna do here is to load the static files or to link the static files to our HTML documents all right so we have our HTML documents here so we are concerned with the home page at the moment I'm gonna open the home page and right above the h1 tag I'm gonna create a header within the header is where we're gonna do the linking okay so in a regular HTML pages you just type link href and then the link to the CSS files but in Django you have to use these expressions and within the expressions you have static and then the link of that static file will be in the code here but this is not enough our application doesn't know static so we have to tell it what static is about okay so this is where we have load static right up here and that is what this code is about okay all right and that should be right above all the codes on that HTML document okay you're gonna have load static and save it okay so we have one more step to complete this static file setups I'm gonna move over to the site and then use this code right here and this is what tells Django where to look in for this static or this CSS file okay so we have the CSS file right in the app okay in the app we have a folder called static and then we have CSS files so we have to tell Django where this static file is so to do that we go to settings and then scroll all the way down and add the settings right here so we say static files dar equals to base dar slash static so the base dar is the application right here so we can tell that from this code here okay so this variable is the same as our base dot so this variable tells Django where the application resides in okay so we're gonna use the variable slash the static file folder okay that's what we have right here so I'm gonna save it and then head over to our application and do a control refresh right there we have our background change to blue okay so this is what you do to set up your Django static files so now that we have the static files set up we can start customizing or styling our application I hope you find this informative if you like this video click on that thumbs up if you have not subscribed yet please consider clicking that subscribe button and turn on your notification so that you will not miss our future videos if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, see you in the next video.